Lord, how y'all doing again? <clears throat> Pardon me. This one going to be about how Urban Myers, the new Jacksonville Jaguars head coach, is hiring Chris Doyle to be his offensive coordinator. Now, Chris Doyle got his whack racist behind, ran out of Iowa State because of Iowa because he made racist and discriminatory remark. They got him up out of there. And there is 13 black players suing him. So he goes from college to the pros. And this is what lies in systematic institutionalized racism. The NFL, who's promoting, been promoting in racism and logos and stickers and so on. First time the season ends, this guy gets to come in amidst allegations and lawsuits, amidst his loaded Archie Bunker remarks. Urban Myers and them, you know, it's typical white privilege situation, good old boy network. Just turn it out. Let's bring him in. Yeah, he may be a little bit racist, but we can we can turn him up, fine tune him. This is so unreal. Why would you do this? The guy, obviously, is a trigger point. Why would they do that? But you see, that's what white privilege is. <clears throat> NFL gives lip service about racial situations. They don't do nothing. Because for all this kumbaya and we're going to do this and all that, Colin Kaepernick never got a job offer. He can't even get a blazer on a network. And you tell me, look me in my face and tell me that Tony Romo had a better career than Colin Kaepernick. See what I mean? Chris Sims had a better career than Colin Kaepernick. See what I mean? See, this is what I'm talking about, institution systematic racism. And they are not, you know, the way they're going about things speaks volumes. But they'd rather let a known bigot right fresh in. Never mind what's been going on in NFL the past year with the, see, the signs and logos and sponsors don't mean a thing. I said that already about the contradiction about the NFL because, I mean, if it meant something, why were they on one end putting up in racism, Black Lives Matter, et cetera, and then turn around and feeling stuff in Donald Trump's pockets? Can't have it both ways if you're about the truth. So Urban Myers ain't no different. He's another good old boy who benefits from the good old boy system, and it's just another good old boy hire. It's the same old same in the NFL. They do the same thing because they can do it. They can flex. Plantation owners running the plantation. That's what they think. Because if there's about respect or so-called about character, you wouldn't want this fire right now. Especially this guy not only loses the lawsuit and everything is proven 100% and it looks more likely it is, why would you want to touch that? See, But they don't care racially. They only care about keeping it white. That's what they're showing. Anyway, give me your thoughts and takes about Urban Myers hiring um, this cat right now. And please give me your thoughts and takes of Chris Doyle. Please hit the like, subscribe. I welcome thoughts and comments on it. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another. And um, it's so hard to even say the turkey's name because it's so embarrassing. But this is what the NFL does. They contradict a whole lot. I'm out.